Morning, guys. How's everybody doing today? Today is Tuesday, November the 1st, and it's a bit frosty out here. We got a decent little frost. Actually, I consider it more like a freeze. I think it got down to like 29 last night, so it was really kind of a our first freeze of the year, really. But it's still plenty wet. Still plenty wet. Let's see what we can uh, let's see what we can tear up today, guys. Come on. Holy cow, guys! Do you see that thing? That's the sun. That's our long lost friend. I haven't seen the sun in about two weeks. Wow, would you look at that. Maybe we can get some drying done today with that big old Texas sky ball. Bring on the heat. Well guys, first thing here this morning is we are gonna go load a semi. We have got some soybeans that are going out to Puris in Illinois. And we are gonna load some beans. I think we are scheduled to take a load Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So with today being Tuesday, obviously we're gonna go ahead and get one loaded here this morning. We've only got about six loads left maybe to take up there. Uh, these guys are wanting their beans and they're wanting them bad. They are wanting our beans bad. We are almost out of the Dark Highland beans already. Everything we've harvested pretty much they wanna come get right away, which is good, which is good. We don't have to store them. We don't have to keep them very long, worrying about them going bad. Not that they will, but you know, you never know. Uh, but they're coming to get them. They are sending truckers after them left and right here. Two, three, four loads a day. So we're getting down to our nitty gritty with that too. We've only got probably six loads of them left maybe. So, I mean, they are wanting our beans and they are wanting them bad. So as long as they hold that check, we'll give them to them. But we're gonna go ahead Go get some soybeans loaded here yet this morning. We got the auger set up. We got a truck underneath it. Now we just have had to come get this tractor. So we came and got the 6140M here. Up where we've been feeding cattle with it. So we got it now. We're going to take it back, and it is what we will use to hook on to the auger. We start loading that truck full of beans. So this is the final step towards getting this truck loaded for tomorrow. So we've got a load going Wednesday, a load going Thursday, and a load going Friday. Well guys, another load of beans uh, heading heading north as you saw running the sweep there. We ended up loading another truck because they came. So we loaded another truck of organic soybeans to be hauled up to Minnesota. So that's done. Not a lot accomplished here this week. Uh, been a pretty slow Monday, Tuesday here. Just trying to get a few things hauled out of here. Got some more beans going out tomorrow. A little bit of corn going out tomorrow. So we're starting to move a couple things here. Uh, but I think tomorrow we will probably start harvest back up. It conditions are not super ideal, but we're having a nice stretch of weather here. We're gonna go. I think it'll be firm enough to where maybe we just leave a cleat mark, maybe. So I think we'll be all right. The neighbors have been running for the last three days and it's been muddy. These last few days has been muddy. Today was a pretty good drying day here. A lot of sun and some wind, which is great, which is great. Not, not a lot of heat, 
but we did get some sun and some wind which will help dry things out so i think we are going to fire the combine back up tomorrow and get back into some corn harvest here get back into some corn harvest i think we've got a nice enough stretch of weather where we can knock, knock out quite a bit of corn if not get done get a good ways done on the corn but time will tell but guys this is going to be a real short video here i think not a lot been going on here this week but the excitement should pick up here in the next few videos so i appreciate you guys watching hopefully you guys are still sticking around i think we've hit almost 1500 subscribers if not past it so that that's awesome that's awesome i couldn't do it without you guys so i, I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking around hanging around and just seeing a little bit about what we're doing here in the organic world a lot of people disagree with what we're doing a lot of people agree with it but i don't care either way that's their opinion we're going to keep doing what works for us we're going to keep doing what works for us so appreciate you guys watching we'll see you on the next one